welcome back. So let's continue where we left off. All of you who saw me play this last time, like a year or two ago, um, will appreciate that we're coming back and attempting to complete the King level pack. Oh god, what have I gotten myself into? Um, so the point is that you want to get all the blue knights on the blue squares and the red knights on the red squares. And none of the knights ever get to capture each other, so this is like super complicated. At least this should be super complicated. Um, why am... This feels like the easiest puzzle I've seen in a long time. Um, what am I missing? Oh, these yellow knights are in the way. That's the deal. Um, damn those yellow knights. Alright, so we've got all the knights in the, all the corners. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, this is knights. So get the correct knights onto the correct color squares. Um, it's an excellent visualization exercise if you don't lose your mind playing it. Or if you do lose your mind, it's still probably a good visualization exercise. Um, so let's try something symmetrical, even though that probably never works. So we got... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we need to pull some of this back. All right. So. Um. Let's skip some of the knights across like this. And maybe that will give me the space to do some other moves that I want to make. Um, oh, actually, this knight can go all the way across. Okay, we've completely broken the symmetry at this point, which is probably a good thing. It is funny I've not had to move any of the yellow knights yet. Um, so let's drop this knight in the corner. And you can put this one here if we really want to, but I don't think it's going to stay there very long. Um, actually, let's drop this knight over here so this knight can commute back to there. Um, and then we can drop this knight in this corner and this knight over here. Um, still nowhere close to, well no, this knight can now hop here. Um, so I'm almost close. I'll we'll put this knight in the corner, which lets me move this across and this here. See, that wasn't so bad. Oh, just kidding. It was awful, but that's okay. We made it. Um, whoever invented this game is both clever and, I suspect, somewhat sadistic? I don't know. Just putting it out there. Um, so two blue knights in the corner. Doesn't seem too hard to achieve here. Um... Let's see, what else can we do? So I want to pull this knight over so I could get this knight here and this knight into the corner. Um, oh, and if I move this knight, then my blue knights could... Just, wait, this blue knight can move here. If I could move this one away, I could hop this one into there. Um, hop this away... Whoops. Oh wait, there's still some free space. 
I somehow suspect, though, I'm supposed to put the Red Knights in place first or something. Because now there's no way a Red Knight can get to this square. Um, so I need to free up a space somehow. How am I going to do that? This square in particular should not be occupied. Yeah, so we should like focus on putting knights on this back rank minus the square. Um, and on the edges of the board, unless I need those edges, which I don't think I do. Um, here, let's pop this over here so this knight can do a little dance to get there. Um, hmm. I'm still wanting... Oh, here we go. This is closer. This is not good enough, but this is closer. The knights will dance around each other until I find a way to get these two to swap places. Uh, if I could form a square with these somehow, that would be great. Except the one corner of the square is occupied by um, this thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, Hikaru could have fun with this if it doesn't drive him mad. Um, really, I think anybody could have fun playing this as long as you don't take it too seriously. Um, because you could really lose your mind playing something like this. Oh, here's how we do the swap. Um, that wasn't a swap. That was not a swap. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how to get more yellow knights onto the second rank here. Should just start putting them here, right? That's one part of the puzzle. Um, now, what can I do to benefit from this square, I wonder? Uh, let's plug this over here. No, 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 no. Let's undo that. Wherever I just came from. Oh, here we are. Um... Right, so put the red knight out of the way, so the blue knight can hop over, and then the red knight can return. And there we go. Easy. Easy peasy. I sense that once we get to, like, C1, it's going to start getting near impossible, but so far there aren't too many of these, um... I don't know what you call these kinds of squares, but I can't move my knights onto them. I guess we could call them obstructed. Um, so the most natural thing to do here is move the red knight over and then the blue and the... Oh, I'm sorry, that's a blue square. This is a red square, a blue knight. Uh, so the most natural thing would be to just like shuffle all these one over. But these are still both red. Um, note that this corner can only go to this square. So sometimes you can figure out that you want to put the red knight into the corner and then move everything about, and then the last move is going to be to take the knight out of the corner and put it back on the square. Um, it's a really common pattern in this game. It's identifying what squares are linked only to a single square. Um, and then finding a way to make use of them. So... Here, let's do that. And let's do that with the other corner, um, with a blue knight. So how do I get this knight out of the way so that I can get a blue knight over here? Um, that might be easier said than done. Here. Bury this in the corner. Good enough. Um, let's see. And then we can link up our... How am I going to get a blue knight here? Oh, that's easy. How do I get this blue knight here, though? Oh, that's also easy. 
just kidding. Um, this is where I wanted them. And this knight is square in the way. Because I forgot my order of operations. Wait, that's not solved? Oh, I moved the wrong knight. Oops. Uh, good thing these moves are kind of easy to undo. He says, jinxing it. Um, so... I want to get this knight over to this square. Uh, which is not too bad, right? But then it traps um, this knight. So I need to get this knight over to this square after the red knight has moved away. Um, so where is the red knight going to move away to? Um, yeah, it would help if there were coordinates. I think it would make it more stream friendly. Um, I guess if I had to criticize the makers of this like one dollar game, it's that um, they didn't put the coordinates on the boards. Um, still, for a buck, this is pretty good. You have to give him a lot of credit. <laughs> I don't know like what kind of obsession somebody had to make the game for such a nice deal, but um, let's see, how do I shuffle these about? So I want to get this knight over here. Just keep shuffling. Just keep shuffling. Alright, so... Um, oh wait, now I wanted this one here, because the blue knight is going to move there. If I can click that. There we go. Yeah, I, I I mean, it doesn't seem like the hardest game to make, but they did such a good job making it, I think. I'm just impressed by that. It reminds me a bit of um, the game from the 90s, Maurice Ashley Teaches Chess, where there were similar puzzles, but not with knights and not to this degree of complexity. Um, there were peace mazes of sorts, Mostly capturing races, which kids love to play. So, um, so all my knights are on the wrong color square. Are any squares? I'm sorry. All the all the blue knights are on squares that have access to more than one square. Um, yeah. In fact, all these squares on the board have access to more than one square. So there's not an obvious candidate for where to cash a knight uh, while the other knights are moving about. So um, do we just like randomly shuffle these until we find a solution? Yeah, I think we need to shuffle these. Uh, I've never tried this button. Oh, that I think just undoes everything. I don't know. Um, regardless, let's try to figure out how we get the knight. Like, how would I get a red knight here? I have to move this away, basically. Um, I mean, I could do this, but really, what's the point? It feels like I'm not much closer. Because just the way these knights move makes me worry about the first rank. The first rank seems harder than any other rank. Uh, let's just do this. There we go. We fixed the first rank. Um, let's see. Where else do we go? We can move to the center. I don't know that moving to the center helped me very much. Um, no, that definitely did not help. Um, you can move like this. There, we vacated a few key squares. Um, 
This square seems inaccessible except to this knight, so lucky me. Um, so now what? Um, I mean, I could move this here. And I'm trying to figure out how to get my other knight poised to move. There we go. This is almost home. Um, and this knight can't move because, well, stuff's in the way. Oh, this can go into the corner. So this gives me a free square to drop this knight in. And then this can free that. So, that wasn't so hard. Hey, the goal is to get uh, the blue knights on the blue squares and the red knights on the red squares. And if you can get them all lined up at the same time, that counts as a win. Um, Jeez. This feels much more intense than the previous problem. But that's probably just me imagining things. Like, how often would I actually use these corners? It feels like this shouldn't be such a big determiner of what's going on. Um, let's see, I mean, I could put a red knight there. I could try to fill this top to bottom in some sense, but it's not going to fill correctly. Um, so we got this row, we got this row. Can move this knight somewhere maybe. Probably can't actually because everything's stuck. Um, you could shuffle this square around so we move things in a spiral or a square. That's a nice little feature of things you can do with knights. Um, hmm. One thing you can't easily do with knights is switch um, a pair of knights put one on one square and one on the other. Um, like, switching a blue and a red there is kind of tricky. Thankfully I didn't have to do that. Um, so... I need to get my red here. I need to get my blue there. Uh, wait, I've got two blue knights that need to go somewhere. Oh, this square. This square is also a target. Um, okay, how do I get the knights out of this funky loop that they're in? How indeed. Um, I could put one over here. How much does that help me? Um, oh dear. How do I fill this row? Um, here, let's drop this up there to free this square. Uh, I'm still struggling with how I get my, this knight shifted over one, because it can't go through the center. The center is like always the most obvious candidate, um, but sometimes it's just not available. Which means I have to come up with other ways to move these. Um, I'm probably going to have to move some blue knights, aren't I? <clears throat> probably going to have to move some blue knights. Let's move that one. So, how do I get to here? This is the candidate. Um... Like, I see, to get there, I could come from here. But to get here, these two knights have to get out of the way. Uh, I can move this one to give this a square to go to, but... Yeah, putting these knight, these blue knights on the board is... Um, making it difficult for the red ones to move around. I think that's probably by design, that if you get really close to a solution, 
um, then the solution's actually pretty far away. So, let's see, can I get this yellow knight moved out of the way somehow? Jeez, what a mess. Hmm. Oh, I can actually put this on the target square. That might actually help. Whoops, now move this over so I can get the red into the target. Okay. Thankfully you can move these after they've landed on the target. Otherwise this game would be like a thousand times more difficult. So in terms of a nice casual game, I think they struck the right balance of not making this impossible for human players. Um, there we go. C1. So I said I thought these were get, going to get more difficult. Um, this feels easier because the center five squares are available. Um, losing the four squares around the center is going to be challenging. Um, so what we do see is that we can bury this knight in the corner and never have to worry about, well, yeah. Free space is now more free than it used to be. If I could get another knight into the other corner, we'd have even more free space. Um, oh, so let's do that, right? Well, this knight can't jump to the black square. Wow, I'm so good at this. Um, how do I get free space? How do I bury another knight into another corner? Um... Well, I guess here's one way, right? Or am I imagining this? I'm imagining that this knight can go to that corner. Here we go, here's a knight that can get there. Can bury that into the corner and never have to see it again. Um, that frees up another square. So... Probably want to try to get this the red knights into their correct spaces at this time. Um, okay, we're a bit closer now than we used to be. Um, let's see. You can put this here and then shuffle it in when it's ready. Um, Okay, can I move this yellow knight away somewhere? Hmm. Oh, actually getting into this square could be interesting too. Let's go occupy this square while we still can. Um, I now see how some of these squares are related. Oh, thanks. Um, so... There we go. And we can bury this one in a corner. And I mean, I could plop this in the center, but that's still, there's still quite a ways to go here. Uh, regardless how close this looks, I need to get one of these knights into this square. And that's kind of hard to get to. How do I bury Knight into this corner? Okay. How do I get a Knight over there? I'm not seeing it. Oh, here we go. And then put this back. Okay, how do we uh, locate any of these blue knights to this square? I think I see it. 
Just kidding. Um, it looks close, but it's not. Because if I go through the center, then my red knight can't get back to the center. Hmm. Wait. I have an idea. Um, I can't get to the center. <laughs> what was my idea? Something like that. And... It's nice of the game to remind me what squares are connected. Otherwise, I might just go insane. Wait, all this has to move. Easy peasy. C2. Alright, so, um, there's no candidates here. This is just brute force. But, even. Yeah, no, this is just brute force. There's no strategy to this one. I am mildly disappointed. Also, the nice atmospheric music adds a lot to this, I think. I'll have to look up who the composer is and credit them. Um, hmm. Hmm. For sure, people would not survive this game without the atmospheric music. Nobody would survive this. <laughs> Sounds like Space Engine. Oh, you mean like the Kerbal Space thing? Um, oh, I've only got three blue squares. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, now this is just brute force, but even at brute force, this is very difficult to figure out. Even if you're looking very deep, um, it's just, this is just incalculably deep. I bet Stockfish could solve it but the rest of us mortals would struggle. Oh, I'm sorry, there is one candidate. This corner square on the right. So that's what I have to try to occupy first with the red knight. Um, other than that, there's no candidate. So to get here, I need to get to the top of the board. Just kidding, I don't need to go there. I just tricked myself, but that's okay. Um, so, let's see. This is a nice square to go through. It'd be a pity if somebody occupied it. Um, it feels like I'm close. Um, I'm probably not. Oops, this can move here. And how do I get this knight anywhere useful? Um, this knight has to move, doesn't it? Because I'm not going to use that square for any other purpose. So now... there? Question mark? Exclamation point? I don't know. One... wait, one, two, three, four. So I need to go via that square. I can't go directly. What am I thinking? Also, this knight's not on the good square. So as close as I feel that I am, I'm really not super close on this. 
Um, hmm. This knight can go over here, so I can move this here. Okay, now I need to get my blue knight to the center. Just pick it up and drop it there. Let's see. Yeah, Fortune and Kausei are standard commands. Yes. Uh, oh, Space Engine's a thing made by a Russian guy called Space Engine. Huh, I'll have to check it out. It's a universe simulator. If you got 50 gigabytes of net and disk space. <laughs> yeah, I might struggle on some of that, but at some point I will have to check it out. Um, right now I'm kind of pressed for disk space, believe it or not. Um, so let's bury this. And then how do I get this out? Oh. <laughs> right. So this is how we get that out. And probably I've got a knot, which probably requires me to move uh, one of the red knights somewhere. Because there's no way this works, right? I mean, I calculated it, but just because I calculated it doesn't mean it's right. Um, getting this knight... Um, not sure exactly what I was looking at there. <sighs> Feels like I'm drifting. I am so drifting. Can I just capture a knight pretty please? A capture would make this so much simpler. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure a red knight has to move for me to be able to reach my destination. Unless I can find a way to cram a yellow knight into this corner. But how do I get there? How indeed? Well... Well... Uh, there might be a way to get a yellow knight into the corner. Um, it has to go through this square. So I could bury this knight in that corner. Having buried that, I'm free to move this about. Um, so this can move, and there we go. Easy peasy. C3. I've still got my center square. Everything's okay. Yeah, sometimes I do use the pentatonic uh, sound set on Lee Chess. It's pretty great. Alright, so... Any candidates? These two uh, on opposite sides of the board are more difficult to access than any other square. That doesn't help me, because there's no end point to this knot. This is a symmetrical thing that I think is best solved by brute force because um, well, it just is. I don't see any logical way to divide this into smaller problems. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. I feel like I'm already stuck. Uh, this can't go anywhere. Hmm. Just here a night, there a night, here a night, night. Um. Yeah, I don't get this. 
So the red knight needs to move because this moves somewhere or something. Um, this knight moves so this one can move so this one can move. And can I land a blue knight anywhere near this key point? There we go. Um, okay. And then what? Oh, here's a corner. Yeah, just bury yellow knights into the corners because there's nowhere the knight can go from the corner. Um, thankfully, I've already buried the other yellow knight in the corner, so that's good. Um, I still feel like there's some better way to go about this, maybe. But I just don't see it. Um, hmm. Okay, I'll put this here, because why not? Um, maybe if you're colorblind, this looks okay. Can you imagine how difficult this game could be if they, like, picked the wrong colors? and a colorblind person were trying to solve it. I think that could make this challenging. Uh, <laughs> I've got a perfect knot here, where none of the knights can move in this little diamond. Um, so to free up the diamond, I have to actually move a knight here, and then I can shuffle these around in the diamond shape. So that's good. And then I just want to get my red knight here. How do I get there? Um, oh, this can be done, I think. So I'm trying to get a red knight into this little diamond. This, this one, this one. Uh, this one, this one, these two, that make like this cross or diamond shape. There's got to be a way to get this red knight into this circuit. But how? Um, oh, here's a free space. Alright. I want the knight to move about the circuit. How do I get more free space? I don't think I do. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. This knight can't move, this knight can't move. So probably the secret is don't move this knight into the circuit too early. Hmm. <laughs> ah, the classic Berlin strategy. Well, best of luck with that. You know, I actually play the Berlin, and I think it's an okay opening. Like, I think you can get a lot of play out of it. It's not just something that you just play for, um, I don't know. Playing it, I mean, yeah, you can try to play it to draw or something, but you can play much more ambitiously with it, too. Um, oops. Oh, this is my super secret plan there. There we go. C4. Yeah, playing for a draw is not cool. Unless you're, like, a master. In which case, you probably know better than I do. Um. Huh. These puzzles just keep getting more confusing. This one's asymmetrical, or isn't it? There's one, there's one, there's one. We got six squares cut off. But it is symmetrical. Hmm. Well, that's interesting because this is not. Like, these are knights jump away, right? And these are knights jump away. 
So this defies my ability to try to like break it down into simpler problems. Um, I can't move this anywhere. Uh, okay, so we've got a nice circuit going there. One knight is on the correct square. That's one knight closer to victory. Um, oops. Just kidding. I knew what I meant there. <laughs> um, here, let's circuit these guys around a bit. And what more? Well, that's probably the easy part. The hard part is getting all the other knights to move willingly. Um, so... How do I get a knight into this corner? This knight's in the way. This knight's in the way of this knight. This knight's in the way of this knight. Um, this knight can move, so that knight can move, so this knight can move. So I can bury this in a corner. Huh, this is less bad than I thought it would be. Brute force has its merits. Um, this game got a Twitch page? I'm not even sure if knights refers to the same knights or not. Like, I'm almost certain that knights on Twitch refers to a different game than this game. As great as this game is, pretty sure it's not the same game, but how else am I going to label this? <laughs> um, well, I should have just started with the top row. That would have been so much more logical. Alright, so Knight wants to move, to move, whatever. This has got to be closer than where it was at a minute ago. Um, let's move this out of the way. Oops. This, this can step in. So now what? Oops, I just did the opposite of what I needed to do, didn't I? Pretty sure that I'm going the opposite direction of where I need to be going. Um... Here we go, and if I could just get this guy to move, all would be well. C4. Alright, C5. Whew! Well, we got a whole bunch of knights on this rank. Um... Oh, these corners in, in the top of this board are the most difficult squares to access. Um, so we should aim for those first. Um, so that's one corner down. Um, okay, how do I get into this corner here? Uh, this guy can move over, so we can bury this knight. Alright, so that's uh, the obvious part of the solution. So let's take care of the rest. Um, okay, and we can get another corner. Oops. Actually, this one feels pretty nice, somehow. It feels like this was designed to be ergonomic or something, in the sense that, um, I don't know, there's something satisfying about the way the knights move about these two squares. Now, these two squares being impeded just is not an obstacle at all. All right. Thanks. Yep. We're going to need all the luck we can get to solve these. If any luck, this might be the last time we play this game on stream. <laughs> uh, 
because, you know, I I'm sure everybody was really looking forward to this one. Um, and by everybody, I mean, well, I was looking forward to it. But I get the sense that this is probably less popular than playing the real game. Just a guess. Alright, D1. Good god. Um... There's ten colored knights. Alright. Oh, man. A little stiff here. Um, so... How do we plant... Eight of these are light squares. Two of these are dark squares. Um... Let's not blockade the dark squares. Let's worry about those last. So, how am I going to occupy all eight of these light squares? Um, and none of the corners are barricaded. So there's no obvious spots to try to force a knight into to hold it. There's no... This knot is just going to be very fluid throughout the game. Um, this red knight could move over here. It's probably... I don't know. This feels like the wrong way to move it. But mobility is kind of difficult on this board. Um, if I could get this knight moving... Well, I'm sorry, I can move that. Um, I'd love to move my blue knight here. Okay, let's bury this here. How do I... <laughs> this is confusing, isn't it? Oh, here we go. That's one knight down. feel like we should be playing a song like all night long. How how apt would it be to play all night long for this too for this game? Uh let's see. Oh I wanted to use the square for the blue knight. Well close enough question mark. Oops I'm sorry, that did get the blue knight out to the square. That's where it's ultimately needing to have gone. Alright, so... Um... I can bury this for a while. I'm still confused. Um... How am I going to get my red knights to the center? I guess we'll worry about that when we get there. Oh, we can put this yellow knight in the corner so this blue knight can hop over here. Which allows me to move this about a touch. And none of these guys can move. Oh, I've been tricked. So this knight can only move to the center or to a square occupied by blue knight. So let's put this here, maybe? So now I've occupied all these light squares in the center column. Um, which you'd think would make it more difficult to move everything else, right? Um, at least I'd think so. Apparently, this just isn't a very hard puzzle. Just one that requires a lot of patience. At least I said that, because I thought I saw the solution. And now I'm not so sure. Oh, this is the key, as I've trapped the Red Knight in the center. Um, 
need to get the red knight out of the center. Um, how do I do that? How do I trap a yellow knight in the center? I need a yellow knight to land on one of the squares occupied currently by a blue knight. There we go. So we've trapped a yellow knight. That should give me more space to work with. Um, oh, there we go. Level cleared. Nice. D2. Again, no knights in the corner ever get trapped here. Good gravy, this keeps getting more confusing. Although, as it gets more confusing, I get the sense that brute force becomes more and more effective with respect to any kind of planning sort of strategy you could try. I get the sense that planning just kind of tapers off after a while. And you just need to brute force everything. There's a good chance I'm mistaken, but there's also a good chance that I'm right. So, what have we got? How do I get a knight into here? Oh, wait. No, that doesn't help. Um, also, why do I have two blue knights? Oh, they're going to go here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Nice. That's not bad. That's not bad looking, anyway. I get the sense that I've missed half the puzzle. Just that I've, like, blasted through this much too easily. Um and have lost all the enjoyment of the puzzle thanks to having solved it too easily. I don't get it. Um, let's see. Yeah, this... well, maybe this is satisfying in a way. <laughs> um, okay, I think I get what's up with this puzzle now. You see this red square? It's surrounded by four blue squares. So if I move the red knight, it's hard to get the red knight back to where the red knight's at. Uh, but it's possible. So... Watch this, he says, putting down his beer. Um, that didn't actually help my blue knight, did it? The blue knight can only go to the center. And it could get trapped back here. Or it could move up. Where, again, it can only go back to the center. Um, there's a lot of places you can go from the center, aren't there? So this is a circuit. Um, this is a nice little circuit, so it lets me rotate that twice. And then, in theory, I should be able to, like, plunk the Red Knight over here somehow. Um, but I need to make more space in this circuit. That's the key to this puzzle. How oh, do I add more space to that circuit? I need to move one of these yellow knights out of the way. How do I do that? Like this. So this makes the space in the circuit. So... Um... Let's put the red knight here, and then over there. I derped this. Amazing. It's amazing. I mean, yes, this is a solution, but there must have been an easier way. D3. Again, there are no trapped squares on this board. Um, so it feels like brute force is probably the most elegant way to go about this. 
so how do I get this night out? There's like multiple circuits on this particular ring. Um, so wait, I can't move, so I need to move. Oh. Yeah, I've not done myself any favors here. Let's solve this one rank at a time, perhaps? Oh, these knights form a cross here. And most of them start on the wrong color square. That's pretty cool. Um, so, I don't know, let's put one of the knights on the correct square. There we go, we're halfway there. If you're bad at math. Um, okay. And... How am I going to get a knight to this square? How do I get the blue knight, any blue knight, to there? It seems quite distant. So I have to move the red knight. But not only do I have to move it, but I have to move it away from the square so I can hop through that to get here. Um, so... Here's how we vacate the square for the red knights. The blue knight can hop over here. This yellow knight's stuck until this moves over so this yellow knight can jump. And if it looks like I'm close, I assure you it's just an illusion. Uh, I want to move any of these knights out of the circuit, so we'll move that one out, rotate this, and we got the blue knights in place. Which probably is not going to last very long, because we have to get the red knights in place too. Um, yeah, the spread... oh, <laughs> this is like a flower. Hey, welcome. This is like a flower in that all the blue squares and the red squares are interconnected. Uh, so you have to start a circuit and then have the reds chasing the blues, chasing the reds, chasing the blues. Um, that's really... I think that's the only way to solve this. Which is beautiful and ridiculous. Um... I just might lose my mind trying to solve this one. Uh, what I was saying about brute force earlier obviously does not apply. Um, so, yeah, one or more of these blue knights has to move, or I'm not going to be able to get anywhere. So let's move this one. This will give us freedom to get the other red knights hopping out in the center. Um, hmm. Feels like that might be right and it might be wrong and I just can't tell anymore. Um, Do I have to move another blue knight? Is that what's going on here? I guess so. Um, hmm. Because I can't, like, teleport this so that the red knight can transport through it. Um... I'm sorry, I can move this here. Moving this gives that freedom. Which does squat for me. Um, it feels like I have to move another blue knight. Because I don't have any way to get here, do I? Alright, so. Oh, alright. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to check the VOD if you want. 
It'll probably put you to sleep, but maybe that's a good thing. This music is so good. Again, I need to look up who composed this and give them credit. Or anybody could look this up under the game Knights. I'm sure the authors of this game did give the composers credit. Um, yeah, no, I have to move this away. But... That's not good. Um, well, maybe it's not bad. Maybe this is okay. Because it's only a temporary move away, and then this can get put into there, and... Oh, didn't have to do that. I'm a genius. Okay. D4. Well, um, again, there's no trapped squares on this board, so again, same thing as say all... Oh, I'm sorry, the corner here. The corner gets you stuck. Ditto for this corner. Alright, that's two free moves. The rest of this might be challenging, but those two are pretty free. Because I'm never going to use the square unless I want to put a blue knight there, but why would I do that? Um, there might be a reason, but I doubt it. And watch as this puzzle proves me wrong. Um, so we'll shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I'm trying to get my red knight over here ish. Um, this game wants you to get very close to the solution, only to tear you away from it. Um, like, for example, I could get all my knights on the blue squares, right? But I'm pretty sure to get any of the knights onto the red squares, um, the blue knights will have to move, right? That's a pretty thematic thing in these later puzzles. So, um, so the key is figuring out how best to move these about to not distance yourself too far from the solution. The other key is being familiar with how knights move, so you could just move these about in squares or diamonds and other kinds of circuits without having to think too much about what you're doing. Um, okay, so we're going to put the other yellow knight into the corner. I think I had a way to solve this from there. Yeah. And how do I get my blue knight back to the circuit? There, that wasn't so bad. D5. This looks scary. Um. So are there any squares that are completely sealed? Or like, buried into the corner? I don't think so. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. This is gonna bring the paint train. Because I'm not sure... Uh, there's so many questions that are raised by this puzzle. It would be beautiful if there were an elegant solution. I'm not going to be able to calculate one, because this is just too difficult. Um, like, I can put this here and put this there or something. Yeah, I just don't know how to effectively get out of this situation. Again, I feel like random moves are probably, I don't know, merited in some sense, in that you're just going to exhaust yourself if you try to calculate everything. At some point, you really just need to play it. 
Um, yeah, this is where things get ugly. Alright, so... Where is this knight going? I mean, that's one possible route for it. Well, it has to go to the center, doesn't it? Um... so confused. I want to use up some of these squares in the corner, but on the other hand, I kind of want to leave everything open, don't I? How do I get there? Everything's just a knight's jump away. <laughs> oh dear. What a mess. What a mess. Um, where do I go? I'm so confused. I could pull this out of the corner, but that doesn't do me any good. I've got five in a row. Does that count for something? Hmm. Um. Well. That's a Thing. I'm still trying to figure out how to get to the corner. Oh, here we go. Wait. Oh, I can't misclick. Alright, E1. Jeez, all these super symmetrical puzzles are um, pretty super. So... Yeah, I probably want to get the Red Knights into these corners as early as possible. Because from the corner, nothing can move anywhere other than the square. And the square is firmly sealed away. Um... Good luck getting into the corner, right? There's no way to get there. Um. Hmm. Curious puzzle. Ever so curious. Let's put that back. Oh, can I not get into this corner? These corners are the hardest to access corners on the board. Um. All four corners are pretty far, pretty difficult to access. Um, wow. Okay. I sense that this solution might take a hundred moves, and that's if I'm doing this ideally. Um, okay, we buried one knight. Now we want to get the Red Knight into this corner. Is there no way to do this? Oh, I have to get a Knight to one of these two squares to bury it into the corner. Um, I'm just going to drift here for, like, ever, because getting onto one of these two squares is pretty difficult. Uh, here we got a knight there. Then we had to bury this knight in the corner to be able to get this knight to move here. Um, that wasn't the goal. Oh, here we go. We're stepping closer to a goal of some sort. Or so it feels. Um, so we can bury this knight in the corner. So that's two knights, or two corners out of four that we have a good knight on. Um, 
How am I going to get a red knight to one of these two? Oh, that traps everything, doesn't it? Um, I feel like I'm derping pretty badly. I wonder. I mean, we could put this here, but what good does that do? He really wants to be one square over. Um, well, to get it over that square, we could free up this square up here. And then if this moves, then I can get a red knight here. And with a red knight there, I can maybe get closer to the corner. Um, right, so this moves, that frees this, this can move here. Except I need to free this square again, so that I can get a yellow knight out of the way and up here, so the red knight can step into the corner. Um, so... Oh, hang on. I can bury this down here. Which gives me a little room to work with. Just kidding. That's the square I wanted the pieces to move through. Um. Hmm. <laughs> we'll just unwind a little bit, shall we? Um. There we go. Three corners covered. Um, I want to get another knight in here, but again, my yellow knights are on the wrong squares. I mean, I could put this in this corner. It doesn't matter. The real key is, can I get a red knight over here? Oh, we got a nice little circuit here. Just shuffle this until... there we go. There. Bottom half of the board solved. You can even put a red knight here and claim we're more solved or something, but I don't believe that. Um, I got three blue knights to go to three blue squares. Well, that's the obvious candidate, right? Oh, hang on. This highlighted that square for me. Which... Oh. <laughs> right, this knight can't move through that. Um, so... I need the blue and the red to switch spaces. Um, no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, we can get a nice little circuit here. Um, but I want to shuffle one of these blue knights into that circuit. Um, so... Just keep cycling about. I probably did more shuffling, far more shuffling than I needed to. But solved it. There we go. Four to go. E2. No obvious candidates here. Though these two corners would be pretty nice. And of course, they have the wrong color knights in them. Um. And of course, the knights that could move there are as distant from those squares as possible. Naturally. Alright, so... We've got to get a red knight here and a blue knight there. So that requires having these knights give way. How great would it be if I could just stick this here, stick that there, and could just shuffle this circuit of this, two, three, four, this, two, three, four. Unfortunately, I can only move one knight at a time, so I can't move all four of these in a circuit all at once. Um, fortunately, I've got the space open, and the space open. So, this is kind of beautiful.
Okay, that wasn't so bad. I want to bury those knights into the corner. Um, so how do I get yellow knights onto these two squares? Okay, and ditto here. Cool. Um, actually, I'm not sure that I have to do that. I felt like that, that might make things easier. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm not so sure. Um, oh, we can shuffle this circuit a bit, can't we? Oh, last red knight belongs in this square. Um, I'm confused. Again, I'm always confused. So, if I move this... Why did I think that would make this easier? Because I thought I could move the yellow knight through the blue knight. And while that's technically untrue, it's close enough. Um, oh, can this one not move? Well, that's a shame. Uh, okay, let's cycle things again. Let's freeze that to move so this can shuffle in. Um, well, we're two nights away, three nights away from victory. We are so far away. We are so, so far away. Um, how do I get the blue knight there? Just kidding. You can move right there. So all the blue knights are in the good squares. All the red knights are close-ish to victory. Um... Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. E3. Um, we've got five in a row in the center, and these two. I sense that the blue squares are probably going to be the easiest ones to line up, and the red squares are probably going to be the... I'm sorry, the blue ones are probably going to be the most difficult, I'm thinking. Is there some interdependence between the blues and the reds here? I mean, as I'm looking at this, this is looking like it should be the easiest puzzle that we've seen to date. Because these four squares being cut off doesn't really impede anything. Um... I'm probably missing something tremendously obvious here, but feels like mobility is very high on this board. Um, so there's probably something about how the knights can't switch circuits or something. How this circuit of four in the middle and how all these blue squares are just disconnected and there's no way to transfer a knight from one circuit to the other. That's probably the deal with this thing. If I had to guess. Um, okay. So, can I get a blue knight over here? And if so, how? It's confusing. Here, let's put this on that circuit. And, I don't know, stick this over here or something. Um, well, that's pretty nice. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm missing about this one. Again, I'm prob pretty sure that I must be missing something pretty 
fundamental and it'll just dawn on me any second now what it is but this puzzle's not looking too terrifically challenging at present um, let's see this square uh, the center might be the trick here the center despite being connected to eight squares um, no, it doesn't really have any mobility issues of its own, does it? Being connected to eight squares does, in fact, increase the mobility. Oh, the problem is keeping the blue knight in the center. That's the problem. Okay. That's the problem we have to solve while getting all the knights onto the red squares. Huh. Okay. Challenge accepted. Um... So, yeah, this blue knight can't stay in the center, but I can't imagine it being too difficult to keep the blue knight somewhere close to the center while the rest of the knights are moving around. How hard could they possibly make that? Um, okay, we've got two red knights on a circuit. would it be to get another red knight on that same circuit? Where's this knight going? Where's this knight going? We could say it's going there. It could be optimistic for a change. Um, so, okay. And, I mean, this knight is still just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Yeah, if this was challenging, I didn't figure out why. Alright, two to go. We're on E4. Um, again, I think just randomly shuffling the knights is probably a decent policy here. It's hard to go wrong, given how op many open squares there are. Um, so, um, let's see. I want to get a blue knight out to the top and bottom of this, and a red knight on the top and bottom of that. How do I do that? Got some large interconnected something or other going on here. <laughs> this is a fun little circuit, isn't it? Um, well, okay, we got four in a row. That's not shabby, but challenge. Um, of course, is getting all the knights on the right squares. Um, I'm finding a lack of free squares to shuffle these things on. So if we move that, this frees that to move, which frees this to move. That doesn't help. Okay. Um, I mean, let's just put the knights there, right? I feel like some of the knights have to go into the corner for me to solve this. I feel like if there's a misbehaving knight, 
threatening to send it to the corner is the worst possible punishment. Like, sending a knight to a corner just seems borderline inhumane, given, I don't know, what knights currently suffer with. Uh, okay, so how to get the last knight over here? How... I'm, obviously this has to move. But... Yeah, I have to, like, get a blue knight on one of these center squares here. And to get a blue knight onto a center square, the red knight's gotta move away. And, I mean, I could shuffle this over... But this blue knight still has to get somewhere. Um, this can't move because of this. This could move here, so this could move. Um, but I'm still not finding very many free squares to move things to. <sighs> so, I mean, we could shuffle these around a bit, couldn't we? And still not find a way to get this blue knight here. Hmm. I sense that I might be losing my patience here. <laughs> this is getting more challenging. Let's bury that there. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Here, let's bury another knight in a corner. And... I'm still trying to figure out how to get any blue knight here. Oh, here we go. Yep, random shuffling for the win. Alright, E5. Well, I was actually terrified that, like, E5 would be some enormously scary puzzle that could sp I could spend, like, days on trying to solve. This doesn't feel scary. This feels doable. Um, famous last words, eh? Yeah, the more I look at this, the scarier it looks, but this does look doable. Hey, good evening. Just trying to get all the blue knights and the blue squares and so forth. Um, and unfortunately, I can't capture anything. So, like, here's a square, which is only connected to the red square. So, I have no motivation to vacate this. Um, if I could just, like, move four knights at a time, I could circuit this blue, red, blue, red. Just have them shuffle once, and I'd be that much closer to a goal. And, of course, moving these onto the top rank is the most tantalizing suggestion, I guess. Because it gets you two knights exactly where you want them in quite a hurry. Um, so that's kind of tempting, but because it's so tempting, it feels like that must be incorrect. There has to be some, um, challenge with this. Um, to date, these puzzles have never, uh, well, have occasionally let me down, but... Not in such a grand way. Um, oh, the four corners here are kind of... No, they're not cut off. I'm just making that up. Um, so, if I can get the blue knight... Oh, nice. If I can get this blue knight here... Um... Just got one, two more, three more to go. 
let's see, how do we get knights? Of course all these four squares are basically connected. Um, so I can move this out of the way, but it can't go very far. And if it does go here, it cuts off the square that this knight would love to go to. Um, so... I mean, I could put this into the corner, but that doesn't get me too much closer. Oh, wait! <laughs> Uh, yeah, this square is only connected to this square. Likewise, this is only connected to this, so I want to get my knight in here first. Um, so to achieve that, here's how we bury the blue knight into the corner. It does require moving the red knight away. Alright, now we need to get another knight here. And you need to get a blue knight into here, too. Um, regardless how many other knights, we have to move away to get the knight there. So let's do this. And bear this blue knight in here. Okay, so that takes care of two of the more difficult knights to plant on this board. We want to get the other two blue knights into place, which doesn't look so simple, but only because I'm being silly. Boy, this is a satisfying solution to play through. It's like the Towers of Hanoi, but uh, less childish. Wait, what did I mess up? What did I mess up? Here we go. Um, this knight can't move. This knight can't move, so I need to move these around. Wait, I thought displacing that would give um, this knight somewhere to go. It's this knight I need to move out of the way. There we go. Level cleared. Congratulations! You have cleared the King level pack, the hardest one in the game. Thank you very much for making it this far. Let this be the beginning of more to come. Once again, thank you. Luis Arzola. Thank you for making such an excellent game. Honestly, Luis, this is pretty fantastic. Um. Yeah, I heavily recommend this game for those of you who haven't memorized the solutions by watching this video. Uh, or even those of you who just like to support independent game developers and the musicians that support them. Um, so, yeah, I definitely suggest or recommend this um, pretty much to anybody who knows how to move a knight. Um, so, yeah, that's Knights. And I was trying to find the credits. I don't think... Oh, here's the credits. I thought they were in-game. Yeah, Garden Music by Kevin McLeod. Incompetech.com Oh, license under Creative Commons. Very nice use of Creative Commons, by the way. So, yeah, that's Knights. Um, whew! Let's erase all data or not. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty great. Um, what a game, what a show. Thanks to y'all for watching, um, and I guess we'll see you next time. Have a good night. No pun intended. <laughs>